Hey, I'm the hook up right here for our e-blast. It's good to see you today, whether it's morning or evening. I'm doing this almost around 11 o'clock, but uh, know what time you'll get a chance to look at it. But whatever time it is, take the time, that the minutes that I'm going to share here, because what I'm going to talk about is important. First of all, Sunday was awesome services. Great day in the Lord. Uh, worship times were fantastic. So if you were in line or in the service, you know exactly what I'm talking about. On the online, the live streaming people, a lot of times you we don't show a lot of the crowd just for privacy sakes. We don't, we don't uh, put a lot of screen uh, screenshots on the crowd itself but we had great services the, the, the numbers were good we're starting to have people come back who've been holding off for for health reasons so uh as people are getting vaccines and, and taking care of those things they're starting to come and of course a lot of people realize as well if they're doing gas stations and grocery stores and shopping and you know going to get haircuts and you know all those things it's a whole lot more sanitary at believers fellowship than it is in any of those other places so uh, get on back if you're ready so come on back and praise the Lord that uh, we're seeing that happen. Met with the elders last night. We talked about a lot of things going on, just business as usual. But one of the things we kind of focused on was our our Easter services. We are planning four services, two at each campus on Easter Sunday, a nine o'clock at each campus and a 1045. So it's going to be great services. We're planning music, the preaching, the messages, all that. We are pulling out every stop we have ever pulled out before. Anything we can do to promote Easter, every ministry involved, every person that's a member of the church is going to be involved in promoting our Easter and getting it out to reach as many people as possible for Christ. So everything online, everything in person with the four services, we can spread out more. So we're not having having to, to cramp everybody in. We can continue our, our safe distancing and following all the, the, the guidelines that we've been following. So uh, we're getting ready and it's going to be awesome. I'll be sharing more of that as we get closer. But let me just say a word about 2021 as we get into it. Uh, knowing the climate as we all do politically, uh, spiritually, uh, prophetically, and biblically, uh, I want to let you know that 2021 is, is, is the time to be a, the soldier for Jesus Christ that you have been called to be. Let me just read a quick passage to you just to, to tell you what I'm talking about. This is Timothy, uh, a letter to Timothy from the Apostle Paul. He says, you therefore, my son, Timothy, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Point number one, we have, this is a time we're going to have to be strong in Christ Jesus. Point number two, he says, the things which you've heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, entrust these to faithful men who can teach them to others also. Verse three, suffer hardship with me as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No soldier in active service entangles himself in the affairs of everyday life so that he may please the one who enlisted him, all right, as a soldier of the Lord. You've been called to be a soldier. 2021 is not going to be an easy year. Everybody's relieved over 2020. But we're facing new arena of spiritual attacks in the church and against the church like at, like at no other time in, in recent history, I believe. I think uh, we're going to see uh, because, and it's already taken place because of uh, the uh, welcome open arms to the culture we have from the LGBTQ community. they are going to see uh, uh, more petitions against churches and, and, the, and the free speech of churches, trying to categorize uh, our theology and our doctrine as hate speech. Our belief system is hate speech. Uh, we've already seen, they've already petitioned the Biden administration to, uh, to shut down Christian colleges or to take away their accredit accreditation from Christian colleges who don't comply with their standards uh, or won't hire the, that from, from that particular community. That's just one of a lot of things that are going to happen. There's already been an underground movement that's been taking place against churches for a while now, uh, against churches who preach the Word of God and stand up, especially in regard to biblical moral issues. And God hadn't changed his word on these issues, even though we're living in a culture of sexual emancipation, so to say, and this transgender attacks that are going on and, uh, and all the other stuff that's happening. And by what I mean attacks, I'm talking about uh, movements, petitions, uh, activity, legislation against the church and its belief system. That's been going on for some time undercover, but now it's becoming more and more exposed. What I'm saying is these are not days that you can just sit idly by and be weak. These are days if you're going to stand, you're going to, have to be that strong soldier of Jesus Christ that the scripture talks about. And that means if I'm going to be a strong soldier, that means I am trained. 
I am warfare ready. I know how to pray. I know how to make righteous choices. I have a life of discipline. I know how to put my armor on and I know how to use my spiritual weapons. That's what's required of all of us. And I am praying that you realize that this is no time for floundering around. This is no time for a lack of spiritual disciplines in your life. If you're not reading the word and studying the word regularly, if you're not having a prayer time regularly, if you're not in attending church regularly, whether it's online or in person, you know, if you're not involved in a ministry somewhere, you are in open target for the spiritual assault that is coming because the Bible makes it very clear, you know, that the weak just don't get strong all of a sudden, you know, there's a process of growth in your life. So if you have been stunted or stalled in your spiritual growth, this is the time to get back on board with Jesus, get back in the word, get back in fellowship, get back in ministries, get back being used by God in a way that makes an impact in the world we live in. So I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm buckling up the shores here and tightening up the armor and expecting, you know, that the arrows and the slings and the fiery darts are going to come because they're headed our way. But we're not afraid and we don't live in fear, nor do we live in doubt. We are the victors in Christ Jesus. In fact, the Bible says we are more than conquerors. So remember that. But if you see that there's, there's a weakness in your life, a spiritual failure in your life, take those to the cross, get right with God, be filled with the Holy Spirit daily and see what God does with your life this year and through your life, no matter what the assault may be. We're ready. We believe God's, God's got us ready, but we have to be faithful and strong in the Lord. If there's an air of weakness, deal with it. Amen. Let's get on board and let's be what, doing what God's called us to do. That's my word of today for you. Hopefully it encourages you and reminds you just important that it is to be living consistently a disciplined spiritual life and loving Jesus with all your heart, mind, soul, body, and strength. Uh, quick word about, uh, we have uh, we have everybody's giving records. Some of the, you like to have your giving records for tax purposes. Uh Instead of just mailing everything out this year, handing them out in the service because people are afraid of it, handing off stuff and stuff, we're, we're going to email those to everyone who requests them. So here, listen carefully. If you'd like to get your giving record for 2020 emailed to you, all right, then use this, this email right here, info at bfchurch.com. What I need you to do is send an email to info, I-N-F-O, info at bfchurch.com. Put your name in the subject line and in the body of the letter, put your email address. All right. And now we need your name because some people use weird email addresses like, you know, a big guy, mud guy, two, three, seven, four or something like that. So uh, let us have your name along with your email and we will make sure you get your giving list, uh, your giving records sent right to your email box. If you'd rather just come by the church and pick them up, let us know. We'll have them ready for you. and We'll get those ready as well. So I'll remind you of it. Tim will remind you on Wednesday and we'll remind you again next week that they are available. And if, if the, so if you're filing your taxes here pretty quickly, we'll have those to you. You know, we love you. We believe God for you. Don't miss this Sunday. It's the fifth Sunday of the month, the fifth Sunday of the year. And five is the number of grace. So let's expect a graceful, gracious, grace-filled day in the Lord at Church Sunday. God bless you. I'll see you then.